Hello everyone, welcome to a World of Warship Bits video and today's video is a little bit um, really sort of a commentary around the ship and more around the commentary of a Stealth Destroyers particularly Stealth Destroyers Tier 8 so for a long time the Leo Lo Yang has been my favourite Stealth Destroyer so with a torpedo range of 7.18 kilometres with historical camo and a detection range of a very stealthy 5.16 it has been my way of sneaking behind enemy lines and causing havoc um, it's very good it has a very tiny detection circle it has smoke um, so it can get out of trouble it has sonar so if it gets behind an island and you need to work out which way to go to avoid the bad guy you've got all these capability and all these tools um, however I think recently I've discovered that it's probably not the best stealth destroyer in the game or from my perspective um now it's certainly not it's got one of the best detection radius so the kagero would be the same with historical camo the yukikaze is actually the most stealthy destroyer that i um, am aware of at 5.1 kilometer detection range and it has a fairly significant um torpedo range of over eight kilometers as well um it is hampered by the fact because um, one of the features of a stealth destroyer is that you are stuck behind enemy lines and if you are caught there is limited capability to work out what to do so the Yukikaze can put on a reasonable turn of speed um, but essentially um, that smoke is of limited value it only lasts 10 seconds so if you get sort of at the edge of detection range it can get you back out of trouble again but you do need 20 seconds generally in the clear to to, to break that stout to break that lock which the um, low yang will get you although its smoke will um not move with the ship however i'd have to say that the best stealth destroyer um, from my perspective is actually the one that you're looking at and it's the z23 and i'm a bit surprised by it because although the yukikaze has 5.1 kilometer detection range and the um, Lo Yang has a 5.16 kilometer detection range. The um, the, UK, the um, Z23 here has a 5.83 um, kilometer detection range. Now it's essentially um, because its torpedoes have a 7.8 kilometer range rather than a 7.16, it essentially makes up on the Lo Yang. But the reason that it becomes the best stealth boat is really it's able to most able to defend itself because if you play the stealth game um sometimes yes you can spend your game getting away with um with sticking around and i have done that and i have done that in z23 and i've done that in the low yang and i've done that in various other destroyers but it's rare most of the time you get a whoopsie and you get caught um the thing about the z23 is that that powerful hitting hard hitting guns means that you're actually capable of dealing with being being caught or being detected so um often what detects you is actually another destroyer um so i found that this ship here actually has the best stealth potential so here you can see i'm using it to my advantage i've sneaked up behind the island um so although my detection radius would normally mean that i am detected it's not until I'm too late and I get some massive hits against this Iowa here. Um, someone else is going to probably take him down, but, um, you know, I've got my points out of him. And now I'm getting out of dodge before um, before he gets his revenge on me. Um, so here, my stealth, my, um, my, my uh, visibility is ballooned out to the range of my guns. And this is one of the reasons, of course, why something like the... Um, Le Terrible is a terrible stealth ship because as soon as it fires its detection balloons out to the massive range of those guns. Um, the Z23 has a reasonable range but not the same sort of insane range that something like the um, Le Terrible has and the Le, Ter Le Terrible is actually very good at something else. That's, that's, that's for another video. So here you can see that um, it's got enough range to keep the distance open that I'm not an inviting target. So I'll keep rocking backwards and forwards. You can see I'm turning in. I'll turn out. I'll turn in. I'll keep the speed up. So they have to put a lot of lead in. 
and I'll keep changing that angle. Um, I tend to less use um, the, um, the the direction, the speed to um, to dodge the enemy simply because, um, well, I'm not particularly good at it. But um, if I keep rocking the ship backwards and forwards, what happens is that it becomes quite a difficult target. And I'm usually in the, I try and be in the turn when the shells are in the air. But um, yeah, with the Z-23, you can get in behind the enemy lines. You've got nice, fast loading torpedo tubes. So you're not spending a lot of time back there, basically defenseless. Um, if you are caught out and if you are hunted, um, they actually have to put serious commitment into hunting you where... Whereas something that's not quite got the same sort of strength, like a low yang, can be put down by a um, by a Benson or a or a Tashkent or a yeah, well, a Z twenty three. Um, a Z twenty three requires commitment of at least a cruiser um, to to take it down. Now it's not the fastest ship, but none of the stealth ships really are the fastest ship. So yeah, so the surprise stealthiest ship in the game, I'd have to put it down to being the Z-23. Um, there have been some games I really wish I had videoed, um, particularly in the Bay of Storms, where I've managed to sneak around the back and just keep the enemy, um, well, basically keeps them pretty unsettled when torpedoes are coming from odd directions. Anyway, there you go. My pick for the um, stealthiest Tier 8 Destroyer, the Z-23. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.